In 1835, France was a mere generation away from the maelstrom of the French Revolution and had survived two of Napoleon's regimes. The country was also five years out from yet another revolution. Oh, those Francais. The so-called Second French Revolution, or the July Revolution, led to the ouster of the French Bourbon monarch Charles X and the ascent of his cousin Louis-Philippe of Orléans as the new king. Louis-Philippe reigned until 1848 when he too was removed from power. He ended up being the last French royal. He also promoted the French colonization of Algeria, which led to all kinds of problems, especially for the Algerians. He also survived an assassination attempt. On this day in 1835, a former thief, forger, and vagabond, Giuseppe Marco Fieschi, cobbled together with a confrere an infernal machine, 20 gun barrels to be fired simultaneously. As King Louis Philippe was passing along the boulevard to the Bastille, accompanied by his three sons and a numerous staff, the machine was exploded. A ball grazed the king's forehead. 18 people in all were killed, and many were wounded, but the king and the princes escaped as if by miracle. Fieschi himself was severely wounded by the discharge of his machine and vainly attempted to escape. Physicians valiantly kept him alive so he could be brought to justice. He was executed, uh, guillotined of course, this is France after all, on February 19th, 1836. In today's parlance, what Fieschi wrought would be called an IED, an improvised explosive device. We are all too familiar with those these days. Don't you find it interesting that one of the first examples was deployed almost two centuries ago? Mm -hmm.